Welcome everyone, my name is Balázs Gibizer and I am here to give you an update about what the NOVA team delivered in the Victoria cycle. But first, a short recap of what, what NOVA is. NOVA is the main computing project in the OpenStack. It implements creating virtual servers and managing the life cycle of those servers. In the Victoria cycle, we had 75 individual contributors, we merged around 370 commits and implemented 9 blueprints. On the next slide, I will highlight the main changes of the cycle. First, we continued supporting mixing physical and virtual CPUs. In Ussuri, we added support for mixing them on the same hypervisor. Now in Victoria, you can mix them even in the same NOAA server. The next item is actually two features, both targeting self-based glance configurations. The Nova Compute service now improved to use a direct and therefore fast image cloning method from Ceph. Also, Nova now handles Glance multi-store configuration properly during image download. We also added support for virtual trusted platform module devices. In Victoria, you can request such device to be added to your server via flavor extra spec or image metadata. For a long time, Nova supported attaching and detaching neutron ports to running servers but attaching a port that is backed by an SRIOV device was not supported. In Victoria, we now support such attach. We continued extending the support for Cyborg Accelerator devices. Now you can rebuild and evacuate servers using accelerators. Also, we are planning to support even more lifecycle operations in the next release. In Victoria, deployers can add the provider configuration file to the Nova Compute service to define custom resources. These resources will be reported by Nova to placement, and these resources can be requested from your VM via flavor extra spec. Nova will manage the resource allocation for such resources. Last, I have to mention some deprecations and code removals. The Libvue driver supports multiple hypervisor backends, but the SAN, UML and LXC backends are unmaintained. Now we decided to deprecate these backends. This also means that removal of these backends are expected in the coming, coming cycles. The standalone Senopi driver was, al was also deprecated a couple of cycles ago, and in Victoria we deleted the code for the driver. That was all I wanted to highlight from Nova perspective. If you have questions, then reach out to the Nova team on IRC. Thank you for joining.